Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have completed all the other APIs of app user in Article Hub project. If you have not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the link. So in this video, we are going to work on category API. So let us start with that. So first we have to open the MS SQL and here we have to create a new table. So we have to just click on new query and uh, here we have to write create table. And here we have to write category and parenthesis, press enter. Then we have to write ID, int, identity, and one comma one as a, it will be auto increment type. You can say primary key. And then we have to put a, a name, where care, and it should be of length 255. And uh, then we have to close this one and put semicolon and name should be not null okay and then we have to select this one and here we have to select which database we want to execute this query so just click on it okay there's a syntax here okay so here we have to put the parenthesis execute it again you can see if i refresh the table you can see we have one more table here you can see and now we have to get back over the, at this place visual studio and Till now, we have only one table, right? So we need to import the another table in this particular project. So we have to double click on models inside that EDMX file. And outside of this particular, we have to just right click. And then you will see update model from database option. Click on it. And once you click it, it will see all the tables which are not loaded at this place. So we have to just, just select this one category table as we want to import it in our project. After that, we have to click on finish. And then we have to wait for a few seconds. It will take and you can see it has been loaded. Now after that, we have to just save this one. Okay, not save. Just click on close and just save this. Okay, uh, let me, and we have to just wait for a few seconds to save this as it takes some time. And after that, let's close this thing, uh, these files, and then we have to create a new controller. So get back to the controller folder, right click on this, click on add, uh, click on new items. Oh, sorry, uh, we have to control the controller. So click on controller, wave APIs, click on add. And here we have to just rename it as a category controller. Click on add, it will create a new file here. You can see file has been created. After that here, first thing is we have to put a route prefix. So we have to just write route prefix. And here we have to just write category. And inside this one, we need to access the database and also article hub entities. We need to import. And then we have to write here new article hub like this. And then we have to create the APIs, right? And here, first, we are going to write the API related to add new category. So first, we have to declare HTTP post method, post method, this one. After that, we have to put the route prefix, route. And in this one, we have to write add new category. So this one, right like this. After that, here, we need to put custom authentication filter, this one. After that, we have to write public HTTP response message and then we have to write add new category and then we are expecting from body categories and categories okay press enter put curly bracket and then we have to write here try catch block so try and catch and uh, okay and then we have to just return so here i'm going to return request dot uh, create response and then http and here we are going to write here internal server error and then we have to write here try block and in the try block we have to write db dot categories you can see this one data set has been created you can see whenever we import or update edmx file it automatically add it over here and inside this one you can see article hub entity from there we are going to access this one and from there we are going to access the database and all okay after that here we need to call add categories and in this we are going to pass this category inside this one to save it and db.save changes okay and then we have to return http request so here we have to write request dot create response and here we have to just write http status code okay 
and then we also want to pass a new uh, message actually so message so here we have to put equals double quotes let me minimize this one and here we have to just write category added success fully fully and save this and now our uh, add api is ready now test this api let me start this one and uh, we have to go over this place and i'm going to just change this one as a category and uh, okay category and here we have to just write add new category and here we have to just remove this field here remove this one also and here i'm going to uh, just pass test user test uh, category let's write here so let test category and i'm going to hit the api and we have to wait for a few seconds okay uh, so the token is already provided you can see we are getting message category added successfully and if i go to database and if i click on this one select top 2000 you can see name test category is there it means that our api is working fine as expected now let's close this uh, these files and then we have to write for code for the next api that will be that api will be for get all categories here we have to write http get method and then we have to just write route and inside this one we have to write get all category and uh, we also need custom authentication filter to secure this api and after that here we have to write public uh, http a response message and then we have to write get all category put parenthesis brackets press enter after that here we have to write try catch block again and catch exception and return a request dot create response std status and then we have to just write e and we are going to return this one after that inside try block we have to uh, save the data so here we have to just write like this where sorry uh, we need to return the data so categories and db dot uh, categories this one dot order order as we want it as order by uh, ascending order okay so for that we are writing the code and then we have to write category so this is just a variable local variable and categories cat sorry category dot name by this and then we have to just put dot to list okay and then we have to just return request dot uh, create response and http status code is okay and then we are going to return the categories okay put semicolon save this let's run this one and uh, we are going to copy the name get all categories and here i am going to paste it over here and i'm also going to change the method to get and our server is still starting so just wait for a few seconds and here you can see server started now i need to try this api and uh, here you can see we get the response here you can see the category id is there so now i want to add some new different category and let me show you because t is there i'm going to add here uh y category and uh, here i'm going to add a e category i'm just going to write here like this and then i'm going to paste it over here i'm going to change this one to get method i'm going to hit the api you can see the id3 is visible first after that id1 id2 because we are uh, we are we are ordering this data in ascending order that's why it's showing uh, like this a category test category y category okay now get back to visual studio stop this one let me close this one and then we have to write the code to update the category okay and here we have to just write http http post method and then we have to just route and in this double quotes we have to write update category and uh, and here we also need to secure so custom or custom authenticator authentication filter we have applied and then public 
HTTP response message update category and here we have to just get the category this one category and put curly bracket press enter then try catch block catch exception return a request dot uh, create response and uh, http status code dot internal server error dot e put semicolon inside try block here we have to write category category gree obj equals to db dot categories uh, dot find and on the basis of id we are going to find so category dot id id and if the category id is wrong in that case or if uh, like if try to find it if it does not exist it means it could the category obj is going to be null in that case we are going to just simply return request dot uh, create response and here we have to just write http status code dot not found sorry no not found this error we are going to return with a message so new message and puts double quotes and here we have to just write category id does not found so this error we are going to return and after if condition okay here we have to also write null and after if condition we have to write the code to update the category so category obj dot name is equals to category dot name so category obj we are going to update with the whatever the the body we are getting it from here so from body puts space over here and then here we are going to write db dot entry and uh, category obj and dot state is uh, equals to system system and uh, here modified so this one system dot identity and entity state modified and db dot save changes after that here we have to just return request a request sorry request request dot create response and http status code is okay and a new message and here we have to just write category updated success fully so this message we are going to return put semicolon end of the line and then we are going to try to run this one okay so it has been started so let me copy the name of this one subdate category here and paste it over here i'm going to change this one as a post method and here we need to pass the id so first i'm going to write here id here three id okay put comma and if i go to the database and if i execute this one i can see the three id so here you can see a category is there i want to change to the b category i just want to write like that so here i'm going to write here b and let me check out the server started or not yes it is has been started now i will hit the api so i'm going to hit the api it needs to be returned successfully changed or uh, category updated successfully you can see we are getting that message if i write here wrong id if i hit the api it need to return category id does not found you can see here you can see the error status is also there so if i go to the database if i execute this one you can see category values has been changed here okay let me go to the visual studio uh visual studio okay so uh, related to category all the api is completed uh so this is all related to category i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe